Hey guys, well I got some great news. The motor is in. It is in. It's not running yet, I still have to hook all the wiring up and all the fuel lines and all that kind of good stuff, but uh, it is physically in the car, bolted, and uh, looking pretty mean, I have to admit. It's sticking up out of the hood and everything, so uh, that could make things a little more interesting, but give you guys kind of a quick walk around on what I had to do. Uh, what I did here was I took the stock 5.0 liter uh, engine mounts, which actually had the same space, bolt spacing as this Windsor block, but unfortunately, this uh, oil pan uh, hangs down about two inches farther than the one on the 5.0. So what that meant is we had to lift the whole thing about two inches up using spacers. So I made these spacers right here, welded it all solid, as well as put a nice uh, heavy grade bolt through the whole thing. So uh, got that done, got the engine sitting up good. The transmission support actually had another set of bolts about three inches in front of the ones that were already being used. So what I did was I unbolted the, the transmission support, put them in the new bolts, and now this thing bolted right up to the mounts that were already on the transmission that we put in this thing. I put a little bit of a spacer to get it to sit a little higher. And uh, so here we are. It is bolted, it is in place, it is looking good and mean. I got it, the uh, valve cover shined up here, as well as the air cleaner. Um, haven't really done a whole lot more to the car, been working pretty... Uh, heavily on getting the motor in. Still got to um, actually adjust the drive shaft. It's about an inch and a half short. Just enough to give me grief so I'm going to have to uh, trim the drive shaft over there, put a little bit of an extension in it and then weld it back up solid. Uh, a few other things I bought is I uh, bought one of these Excel foam wraps for like dirt track racing. Uh, mainly to keep the dust out and hopefully in this case to keep some of the mud out. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap the uh, air cleaner here and that. That way it uh, will hopefully keep this stuff looking good because that air cleaner, because of the way the engine is, will be sticking out of the hood. That's just the way it's going to be. The uh, the fact that we had to lift the engine, it's got a taller block anyway because of the Windsor. It's got an Offenhauser uh, intake on it, one inch spacer uh, swirl plate in there, as well as then this double pumping Holly carb which uh, definitely gives it enough gas and uh, air to uh, make this thing run pretty mean. So I got that, and then I also, yesterday, threw together, still got to wire it all up, but this is going to be a new uh, ignition plate. I've got these uh, nice big indicator lights that are easy to see out on the track at night, and uh, I got my start push button, my coil pull out, as well as a switch for the fan here. And uh, those are going to get bolted right, wow, look at that, nice gloss paint, you can even see me in there, it's pretty awesome. Uh, so I'm going to be bolting this stuff together here and then wiring the whole car up. This plate is actually going to get mounted, I think you can see the mounting holes that I drilled. It's going to get mounted right here in the passenger floor, kind of angled towards me. I drew a little bit of a line about where it's going to be sitting. So there's one side of the brackets, there's the other side, and it's going to get bolted right to the floor. Easy to get at. I'm also coming on my pulling tractor is the tachometer, so I plan on putting that thing in there so that way I can see what kind of RPMs I'm pulling. As well as I have an oil pressure indicator, ind indicator, sorry, gosh darn, uh, indicator gauge, which will also be mounted in the inside dash area here as well. Uh, I already have the battery in and the gas tank already mounted, so it's just going to be a matter of hooking all these components up and then seeing if this thing will fire up. It's been a little bit since I uh, pulled with this thing. It probably hasn't ran in about a year. Um, but I did properly drain all the gas out of it so it wasn't sitting with any bad gas in it. And uh, it should fire right up. It's always ran great for me when I was pulling with it so I can't wait to see what this thing can do in this car. One thing's for sure it's going to be a mean looking car when I get done with it. Get the paint on it. Have the nice big chrome uh, plated engine on this thing and sticking out of the hood. It ought to be pretty sweet. So Keep checking in and hopefully the next video will be of this thing running.